Hey guys! So today we're going to do this really cool water vacuum experiment. And so it's just a few simple things that you're going to need. You will need a tea light, which is a small candle, uh, some water, and food coloring just, you know, for fun so you can see it. Um, and I'm going to, I'm using a sheet pan, but you really could probably just use like a ceramic plate, a dinner plate at home. I just didn't have one here in the classroom. And then a clear, uh, glass would be great. So I'm going to use two different, um, glasses today and we'll see why. So, all right. So what we're going to do is make sure that you put some water the colored water inside your plate or whatever um, thing you're putting it in and then put your tea light in the middle and then of course you're going to need parent help for this you're going to light the tea light so I'm going to turn that going okay so make sure the flame is going and then you're going to take your cup and I want you to watch and see what happens to the water. So the water's green. See what happens inside the cup. So I have to give it some time. <laughs> okay, so the flame is gone. Now look. Do you see? The water is rising inside the cup. I can see if I can move the camera closer. That's really cool. The water went inside the cup. Now, not all of the water, and the reasoning why is because there is air pressure inside and outside the cup. On the outside, the air pressure is high because the air is much cooler out here. And how air pressure works, the cool air pushes down. And then hot air will rise. And that creates a low pressure. And so inside the cup, the flame was heating up the air inside, so creating a lower pressure than there is on the outside. And so the pressure on the inside and outside are completely different and they want to become the same. So the air pressure from the outside pushes on the water and it pushes the water inside the cup until the pressure on the inside and the outside have stabilized or become equal. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, we're gonna try that again. And I think I might um, get a different tea light because the, the, the wick is getting kind of small. So when you take the cup off, do it slowly. There we go, because the water is gonna escape. Okay, get my tea light out of here. I'll probably dig for a longer wick. There we go. Maybe it'll burn a little bit longer this time and you can see it. Okay. Kind of dug it out a little bit. Now I got wax on my fingernails. Okay. All right, we're gonna try that again with the, the first cup. I got wax on my fingers, it won't let me.
There we go. All right, here we go again. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera up. Oh. You just have to be patient and There it goes, you see it, it's starting to rise. The dark green the darker green on the inside. So and the tea light moves because it's uh it starts to float because it's lighter than the density of the water. So it stays floating on the top and so the water lifts it off of the base of the, the pan. So look, look how much water got in there, just so it can balance the pressure on the inside and the outside of the cup. Really cool. And so it creates a vacuum so that water stays in there until I break the seal where the edge of the water cup is. There we go. All right, put the camera back over here. dry this cup off so I don't get everything all wet. Okay, we're going to try it with this different cup. So I did this when I first did this on my own um, with the this this cup. Something, my, my expectations were not what was supposed to happen. All the videos and stuff I'd seen um, showed what would happen with the water with this cup. With, with everything that I'm expect it to happen with this one but I did this one first because it was glass and something completely different happened so let's see if I can make that happen again it was really neat um so I'm gonna put that tea light there again actually you know what I'm going to dig some more wick out of there Get more wax in my fingers because you know that's nice okay all right here we go and problem again there we go got that going flame on all right so here we go we're gonna use this glass so I put it in just like I did the other one. And then we wait. So I'll bring this close. Okay, so the flame is out. And so we've noticed that with the other glass, the water starts to rise, right? Well, when I did this the first time, the water wasn't rising inside the glass. And I was like, what happened? And I was like, oh no, I hope this is this experiment works. And you know, then I, so I tried to lift the glass and look what happens. Uh, guys, I'm lifting and I can't because it is stuck to the pan. It's that air pressure has created a vacuum suction. So it is sucked onto the pan and that's why it wouldn't let the water in. So I guess the the glass cup is too heavy um, for, for, for it to work. So a little bit of water escaped in now. So I ended up breaking the vacuum seal just a little bit. So, so now the water's gone in. So, you know, I guess depending on the investigation. So it was, um, so I can, as you can see, oh, there we go, yeah. Oh, and I got water into my tea light. So that's all right. So that was pretty neat um, to see that, I guess, depending on which kind, what kind of cup you guys are going to use, can really make a difference on how it can affect your experiment. So if you do this at home, I provided you a tea light in your bag. Um, make sure you have parent supervision helping you with this um, because you're dealing with fire. We don't want anyone to get hurt. All right, hope you enjoyed that and you learned something today. Bye, guys.